final assignment in our course is the end term exam. Uh, the exam has four parts. First, we need to submit this uh, form. And uh, of course, we need to answer all questions in this form. I will go over it a little bit later on. We also uh, need uh, to uh, design a detailed UML class diagram for the car rental system. And we also need to design a UML sequence diagram for a use case where a customer is renting a car. And also we need to design a state diagram for the car class. So the car uh, class needs to be designed as a state machine. So it has distinct states uh, corresponding to the business requirements specific to the uh, fleet of cars that we're going to operate. And so the car has to be designed as a stateful object. We have a separate link right here to upload the UML diagrams. But as always, uh, let's start by uh, reading the system requirements. On top of this document, I have this task list of things to do. But before we can discuss these individual uh, uh, tasks, let's go over briefly over the car rental system requirements. So as you can see here, um, we have a system to support a car rental office. So uh, if you read these uh, individual uh, requirements, uh, you can see that uh, we need to support uh, uh, reservations for car rentals. So it's possible to perhaps uh, envision that we may have um, a class uh, named uh, reservations and uh, of course we're going to have another class that represents the actual rental and uh, obviously uh, we can associate it like this so we basically have a set of uh, uh, reservations uh, stored uh, right here. So let's uh, plan on uh, doing some overview right here. So we have reservations that are made up of uh, individual uh, rental records. You can name it differently. Um, so um, then um, you can see that we need to be able to support payments. So there is a possibility that maybe a payment uh, is also another class in the system. I, I would definitely consider payment uh, to be um, uh, a possibility of uh, um, another class, right? So it easily is a good candidate for a class. So each rental eventually may have a payment uh, associated with it. Uh, of course, uh, information about the credit card is probably an information about the uh, the data attributes that the payment should have. And uh, we have this requirement that all reservations must, must be secured by credit cards. So basically, you can uh, specify here that uh, it's one of the data attributes. Uh, basically, you need to, to store a credit card uh, as a data attribute right here. We need to be able to support reservation cancellation, okay, so that uh, when we um, create our rentals, apparently this would be one of the operations right here, cancel, cancel, cancel reservation, okay, so we need to be able to support that. So it's the usual process of going over the requirements and interpret these use case descriptions they're pretty close to uh, describing individual use cases uh, and identify them and be able to uh, um, reorganize all of this into a set of data attributes and operations your uh, the your design of the all the classes uh, should be uh, 
should include very detailed information about all data attributes and operations specified for all classes. So just make sure that you provide uh, all the details that you can extract from this uh, description right here. So we also need to be able to support the, the fleet of cars and be able to um, to add and remove, uh, remove cars. So I'd say uh, car fleet is definitely another um, great candidate uh, for a class in the system. Right, so something that's called a car fleet. Uh, we can make it definitely an object in the system. And uh, uh, so, of course, so we will have a set of cars. Uh, it's That's a given that we're going to uh, maintain a list of cars uh, like this. And, uh, of course, this will be uh, our car fleet organized uh, into a set of cars. And there's a set of uh, requirements that uh, requires us to um, maintain the, sta uh, the state of the car at the level of uh, service. There are different uh, parameters to, uh, that should indicate that the car requires a service. Uh, the car also may require um, uh, a, uh, an inspection uh, over certain, certain mileage. Uh, and other parameters. So this entire uh, set of um, information definitely uh, describes um, conditions that may trigger events that may have um, impact on a car changing its state. So its state could be, uh, it can be available, it can be in service, it can be in, in, in being inspected, it can be uh, decommissioned it can be there are lots of different states you can envision uh, which um, uh, which correspond to all of these conditions that may trigger um, important uh, uh, state transitions with respect to cars so we need to uh, we need to maintain pretty pretty clear picture uh, pretty pretty clean design of states for individual cars we also need to be able to support the waiting list. So since we just mentioned the waiting list, so that basically customer may call or uh, go to the office and request a car rental, but uh, the cars are not being returned and all of the cars may have been rented out. So then uh, the, the customer may want to be able to wait. So waiting list, so then uh, we can consider to have uh, two of these, uh, so I just I'm um, just going to uh, copy and paste a copy of this, and uh, um, we can just uh, make this a waiting list. So name this uh, reservations uh, uh, waiting list. <coughs> And uh, those could be considered confirmed reservations. I say the same thing. We can uh, change the name of this class to um, confirmed uh, reservations. Okay. So uh, both uh, can be used. Uh, so the rental object may be moved from a reservation uh, waiting list to confirmed reservation list. So let's just add this association here as well, right? So this is um, uh, this is information about uh, uh, possibility for waiting list, okay? Which is very typical. Uh, support garage operation service and inspections on cars um, so I would think that the garage operation uh, so I think uh, by design what we can do is that uh, when the car state changes when the car uh, is for example uh, return from the rental of course uh, there's a, a check on mileage and overall condition of the car and at that point we may decide to uh, keep um, uh, keep a list of operations. So we can basically add a class in the system, another class right here, which is uh, which is a list of garage operations. Is like a queue of um, uh, queue of operations 
and then we can have a collection of operations. And I think this can be a base class for, um, uh, for uh, things such as service. Uh, for instance, service request. Right, so we need uh, to service a car, and uh, there is also uh, possibly another class that we may need here, which is an inspection. Um, inspection uh, request. And I would think that uh, these both are um, examples of garage operation. So possibly we can organize this as a hierarchy and then, of course, associate collection of garage operations with, uh, with the variety of operations. So um, I think that these garage of um, the variety of garage operations uh, could be viewed as a hierarchy of, uh, um, of uh, objects that we can deposit into a list of garage operations and uh, uh, we can have a use case in a system where um, a garage uh, manager or whatever wh whoever is designated to uh, to manage um, this use case to to work with this use case can process the service request assign them to specific technicians workers and so forth so we have a car uh, car fleet management here so uh, list of cars uh, so we can uh, potentially, I think, uh, because cars can be available and unavailable uh, to uh, to rental based on the state, the current state of the car, as you can uh, read about it in in this paragraph right here. I think that the car fleet is a great candidate for for the object pool. I think that the car fleet can be designed as an object pool, and the car, of course, um, is the subject of the pool. 